Um, all right, Harmon. This one's not exactly hot, but Brock Bowers landed in the worst situation possible, man. It is it is not 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 great. Uh, he's likely the best tight end prospect in college football history. Dude commanded targets and scored 13 touchdowns as an 18-year-old freshman. Uh, Sam Laporta averaged 11.7 yards per reception in college. Break Bow- Brock Bowers averaged nine yards after the catch in his college career. I mean, he's just a beast. But the Raiders have one of the league's worst quarterback situations, a true alpha at wide receiver, and just drafted a tight end with a top 40 pick last year. Only two FBS t- tight ends have multiple 800-yard seasons over the last 15 years. They're Brock Bowers and Michael Mayer. Uh, Adam, Devontae Adams finished second in the league in targets and target share last year. I think the biggest concern with Vegas, though, is this quarterback. I mean, it gets to play yeah. indoors, but Gardner Minshew, it, it's, it's questionable if he's even an upgrade at all over AOC. Uh, Shane Steichen deserves credit for any success Minshew had last year. Bowers is a beast. I'm still ranking him as a top 12 fantasy tight end. But man, that's major restraint by me, given his age and profile. I mean, that's tight end is deeper than ever. And uh, I don't think he could, it should be treated necessarily as a top 10 guy, even with his profile and his ups- upside, um, given the you alternatives. Probably, you probably would have gone Vegas. like tight end five if, yeah, if he right. landed anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, no, I easily. Yeah, I would have been talking myself into it, but I don't love it. Uh, but am I wrong? And maybe I'll just play Mayor more in line and let Bowers be a beast in the you know, in the slot, but uh, I just don't trust Vegas getting it right. I mean, they just look like a combustible situation, and it just seems like he, he doesn't look super pumped when he was drafted by them, and there was rumors are it was literally down to a coin flip. Um, I basically agree with, with what you just said there. Like, I think he'll still be a top 15, top 12 tight end uh, in rankings, but he's not really a guy I'm excited about anymore, and a lot of it comes down to the situation, and and yeah, the the quarter, the quarterback, the Gardner Minshew situation of it all, the, the Aiden O'Connell situation of it all, where, um, because I think you, you could look at last year and be like, is his, like, you just think about the outlook and how he's going to be de- deployed. Is it that much different than Dalton Kincaid, who was the 11th tight end last year? um 91 targets and a lot of it was slot stuff it actually and 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 it wasn't that efficient right um you know 7.4 yards per target 9.2 yards per catch for Dalton Kincaid because I think they tried to like he should just be a tight end but they try to do this big slot stuff I think some of that's going to happen with Brock Bowers right like the Bills had an established tight end and Mayor Michael Mayer is not even established like Dalton Dawson Knox was a guy they paid Right. But still, there's sort of some similarities there. Guys that, you know, Michael Mayer and Dawson Knox, you one of those like true inline tight ends either. So that actually kind of makes it samey. There's an alpha receiver, even if Steph Diggs was declining, but like still was a guy that was commanding a high target share. Um, there are some useful players elsewhere on the roster, but, you know, like a Gabe Davis or a Khalil Shakir, Jacoby Myers is better than both of those guys. You know, th- that's part of this too. The thing is, though, so you could say that and be like, well, it's not that bad, right? Like Brock Bowers could be tight at 11. One of those is playing in Josh Allen's offense. The no, other one's Josh playing Allen. in Gardner Minshew's offense. So I th- we're on the same page here with your eighth take. So let's move to take number nine. 